Yeah, dude, it's time to surf. Wait. This speech kind of sucks. Do you mind? You're blocking the sun. All right, fine. This speech is bogus anyway. God, what? It doesn't even make sense. Oh, jeez. Hello, everyone. Welcome to. Stack Attack! It's Stack Attack, you know where it's at. The one thing we don't lack is the knack for reviewing LEGO, and that is most certainly a fact. And yes, today we have set number 3852. Ages 6 and up it is 2 to 4 players, and it is Sunblock. Sunblock. Uh, yeah, it's a LEGO game. And it's uh, not the best LEGO game, like some other ones I've reviewed uh, recently. But yeah, it's definitely a, a decent LEGO game. It's uh, interesting. So yeah. I say it's about time we uh, look at the stuff inside the box that I've already taken out. It's just the booklets in there. Say so the box, of course. It's got the two people on the beach it looks like they're playing the game of course it is special edition or limited edition not special edition they're two totally different things back of course shows you all the features it's, it's 79 pieces it's uh, ten dollars so not the greatest price for piece but yeah and next I guess I'll show you the board and it's uh, pretty small it's just like a um, op octagonal base plate with some uh, blue these pieces on the side and then it has uh, one of those one stud tile one by two one stud tiles and it has four differently colored beach chairs for each player four trash cans and a large umbrella large umbrella does have this pretty cool uh, design on it and it's a uh, very interesting piece in general. See, it's the board. For other things, we get uh, four yellow umbrellas. They're also very short. They're just the uh, um, they're just um, brown, you know, telescope pieces with a clear stud and a yellow. Um, dish. Next we get four red umbrellas. Uh, these are a little bigger. They got the same size dish piece with one stud on the top and then one of these pieces for the stick. Actually the top is actually flat. I always thought these pieces were rounded but I guess recently they changed the design on them. And then we got one, I don't even know, we've got five, for some reason there's five, not four, blue umbrellas. We've got the same size stick. It's got a uh, really tiny uh, dish in there and then a really large dish on the top. So yes, next, we have the crab. Part of an optional rule. She's looking for a crab, orange crab. It's a nice set to get it, since it's $10. Of course, we get the red crowbar for removing Lego tiles off the die instead of the wrench. And what? Else? And if, don't comment saying it's not a wrench because it's not anything else. See, that's the crowbar, and the dice will help me explain everything. Basically, the tiles on it are uh, yellow, blue, red, brown. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Orange, and then the the purple and white tile, or the umbrella, big umbrella tile. Then now basically explain the rules of the game, since the dice is the, um, you know, the secret to everything. Basically, the idea is to make, uh, to get your your opponents to knock down something on the board. And uh, yeah, it's basically the idea. The last one not to knock down something is the winner. But let me explain how that works. Basically, yellow, 
red and blue umbrella or the those tiles that you put the umbrella of that color anywhere on the board is not already occupied by something else. This that's that. Uh, the brown one makes it so you have to move your beach chair anywhere else on the board except next to the trash cans or the crab. I'll explain that in a sec. To somewhere that's and you can't put it side by side to a beach chair. So kind of hard to find a spot for it, but I guess I'll just put it there, right there on the bottom. Uh, next is the orange, which basically allows you to move uh, a garbage can to anywhere else on the field. And if a uh, beach chair is in the eight squares around it, uh, it has to move immediately. And last but not least is the big umbrella tile. Basically, you pick up the big umbrella and put it somewhere else. Pretty simple. I notice this piece actually when there's a lot of umbrellas around you and trying to knock not knock not down the umbrellas. It like is it, really if you once you press it down a lot, like it's really it's kind of jiggle it to get it. Oh shoot! It's kind of jiggle it to get it loose. And in a game where you have to be super careful, it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to yeah you know, to you know not knock it down or whatever to to want to keep enough I feel like I'm gonna break it if I pull too hard because really it just feels really really flimsy push down as hard as I can try to pull it up like I'm not enough so much there because we've loosened it up since the times we played still it just feels really flimsy and these blue tiles on the side are only used for the crab crabs an optional rule where sometimes we, when you roll an orange you can choose to put them on one of the four sides and if a beach chair is on the four Squares next to it, they have to move, kind of like the garbage cans. See, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the board and the dice and all its rules, basically. Uh, the idea is to put the um, also, yeah, basically, you know, put the umbrellas everywhere. After a while, from the game proceeding, and stuff is happening. Just say board is like this, and yeah, basically if you while well, moving your beach chair or putting an umbrella down or whatever, if you knock down an umbrella, then you are out of the game, and you move any items you've knocked down away from the board. And last player, uh, still standing after that happens, wins. And something else that the only other way that uh, kills you, you know, eliminates you or whatever is if, say, there's a bunch of umbrellas on the field. Let's just say it's something like this. And you get it, say you get an umbrella, and you cannot, or you get the, uh, or I'll turn that aside. Say you get the umbrella piece, and you cannot put it anywhere without all the umbrellas standing straight up, like you can put it here, and but the red ones bend out of the way. If you can't do that, then you also lose, which I think is a really dumb rule, because it seems like a lot of the time that happens with the blue umbrellas, which are, of course, really big. And if you, if all the umbrellas are gone of that color, you get to take another umbrella. I mean, it's like a different colored umbrella. And I don't think it's possible to get all the umbrellas on the stage, so it doesn't really matter what happens if they, you know, if you run out of them. So yeah, that's uh, now even if you pick up the big umbrella and you can't put it somewhere else that is occupied by the spaces, then you're still out. So that's basically the biggest flaw I have with the game is that rule because it's really easy for that to happen, especially with the blue umbrella. It's taking up so much, and it's awkward because they're just they're not high enough of the red umbrellas that you can put them over them, but all, but they just barely tilt. And it doesn't, the rules don't allow that because they have to stand straight up. So that's really the biggest grab I have with the game. Other than that, it's pretty fun. Uh, you know, you have to kind of strategize and uh, you know make it so it's hard to reach for your opponent to reach into the you know to get the 
get their beach chair out, because that's usually what kills them, is either the, uh, be the not being able to put down the umbrellas, or them picking up the beach chair and, you know, knocking and knocking something over. And, yeah, I haven't actually p played with the crab rule, but I think it's actually a good idea, because the safest spots are on the side of the board. It's just say the garbage can doesn't matter. Uh, like, because it's really easy to get your piece out. If this the middle, you have to deal with, you know, all the different sides. But it's on the edge, it's really easy to get it out. So I think the crab would actually be a good idea to try out. I think it does actually, definitely, it would, it, I don't, again, I haven't played with it yet. But, um, from what it looks like, it seems like a pretty good rule that you should definitely, uh, you know, you should, def you should definitely play with it when you start out, or d definitely should, should try it when playing this game. You know, if you get decide to get the game. So yeah, now it's time for the uh, the ratings. I actually forgot to get this, my stack bar for this, so I'll have to go get it. But I got it. Don't worry, everything's good. All right, stack bar. All right, of course, like always, we start off at half and increase your decrease ratings depending on how much I like things. All right, so let's get going. Uh, size. For size, uh, it's not the best, it's not the worst either. It doesn't actually have any micro figures, which is a kind of thing. It's not the best thing, but I don't think they could have really used any of them. So yeah, but it, the board is ridiculously small, like $5 small. But with all the, the, all the umbrellas and all the other things, you can kind of understand how it is $10, but you still think it's, I still think it's a little bit small. So I'm going to take off two for that, just because, uh, yeah. It is pretty darn small. Uh, mock pieces, uh, nothing much here. If you're looking for red or yellow dish pieces, or blue dish pieces, looking for, or, you know, looking for dish pieces, or if you're looking for the brown telescopes, those are good too, if you want the... If you like the umbrella, if you're looking like make a beach, no, the umbrella is a good thing, and the crab, of course. So for mock pieces, I'm gonna add, I'll add two just because it's you know good for that, and also some unique colors for the beach chairs, like pink and light blue and dark green, the odd colors, honestly. So yes, uh, let's see, cool factor, uh. I don't know. The crab's kind of cool, so I'm going to add one. Not the coolest thing. You know, basically the point of the cool factor is it doesn't really matter for LEGO games, but, you know, it's it does matter for regular sets because really I don't really play with the sets much. I just think they look really cool. And sometimes I use them to mock. Sometimes I play with them, like with the hero factors, I play with those. But mostly they just sit on my shelf and look cool, and I sometimes play with them. But yeah. Uh, I mainly when I buy things, I think of the cool factor, so that's why I have that rating in there. And now for play value, I base the play value for Lego games off. You know, I since of course the Lego games are going to be the funnest out of all of them. I kind of change the scale a little bit to make it so you know it's not like oh it's going to be a five or or no, it's not going to always add like eight or seven points. So yeah, this game, uh, I do think it's pretty fun. I think it's, uh, again, Harry Potter, Minotaurus, and Pirate's Code are still my favorite. But I, did, I think this may be in the top five. This and the three I just mentioned and Ninja Go are really great games out of the ones I've played at least. So yeah, for that, for the play value compared to other LEGO games, I'm going to add three. It's darn it. I like it. I think it's fun. So yes, of course we get a four, yeah, 14 out of 20. 14 out of 20. Uh, definitely think of getting this game. Um, honestly, you know, I, when I first saw this game, I thought honestly I thought it was something involving actual sunblock, as in putting sunblock on something. Then I'm like, no, it's way too lame. And then I looked into it, and you know, it's not it's that stupid of a concept. So yeah, uh, it's ten dollars. Um, special edition. You can probably only get it on Lego.com now. Actually, when I uh, when I ordered it from Lego.com, I actually got it uh, on a discount because there was a sale. So check Lego.com right now because it may be on sale. And if you're making a order on Lego.com, definitely add this to your uh, list of things you're ordering. 
So yeah, thanks for watching, and next time we'll probably be looking at uh, Hero Factory for a while because uh, I, I should be get getting uh, all the sets from uh, Savage Planet, even though, yeah, of course, I still don't have Savage Planet complete. So Hero Factory is probably going to be like three straight weeks of that. Maybe two. I don't know. But anyway, see you guys later. Hero Factory and others. Later.